Hello, how are you? Today, we shall learn about gaseous exchange in animals. Before we discuss about gaseous exchange in animals, can you breathe in? 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 Out. So, why do you think uh, you have to breathe in? and out. Why? What is the necessity of uh, breathing in and out? Why do animals take in air rich in oxygen and exhale air rich in carbon dioxide? What is the significance of all that? Definitely you might have said that you breathe in so that your body gets oxygen. But what is the importance of oxygen? So, animals, me and you included, take in air, which is rich in oxygen, in order to oxidize food, substances, or organic compounds in the process called respiration. These provide energy for all the cellular activities for all the activities of the cell. In the process of respiration, carbon four oxide is given out as a byproduct. This carbon four oxide which is produced is harmful to the cells, hence it has to be constantly removed from the body cells. So, because of that, gaseous exchange has to take place in animals. Now, most of animals have got specialized structures that are adapted for taking in oxygen and removal of carbon four oxide. These structures that perform gaseous exchange are called respiratory organs. Now, um, the process of taking in oxygen into the body and removing carbon dioxide from the body is what is called breathing. In other words, is called ventilation. So ventilation is the process of taking in air rich in oxygen or taking in oxygen and giving out carbon dioxide. That is what we call ventilation. Now, if you take in air which is rich in oxygen. The oxygen will move into the blood from the respiratory organ by a process called diffusion. And also carbon dioxide from the blood comes out of the body through the respiratory surface by a process called Diffusion. So, in a nutshell, gaseous exchange involves passage of oxygen and carbon dioxide through the respiratory surface by a process known as diffusion. Okay? Now, in this process, we have to understand that the process of gaseous exchange occurs through some specialized structures. These structures are called the respiratory surfaces. And there exist a number of respiratory surfaces in organisms. These respiratory surfaces are the surfaces where gaseous exchange takes place. And they depend on several factors. One, they depend on animal size. Two, they depend on the activity of the organism and three, the environment in which the animal lives. Now, for the organism to survive, there must be a continuous supply of oxygen and removal of carbon dioxide. This oxygen is important for the process of respiration to take place. Without oxygen, no respiration can occur. Hence, the organism will die due to lack of 
energy okay now for small organisms like the single celled organisms single celled organisms or organisms that whose bodies are made up of only one cell they are called unicellular organisms so these unicellular organisms have got a large surface area to volume ratio we cover this concept in form 1 okay if an organism has got small body it has got large surface area to volume ratio therefore such organisms usually uh, in gaseous exchange occurs in these organisms by simple diffusion through the cell membrane so they do not have actually complex organ organs for gaseous exchange but instead gaseous exchange occurs through the cell membrane examples of such organisms are the amoeba some people call it amoeba which is the correct pronunciation Paras paramecium okay earthworms etc but an earthworm is not a single celled but it is a simple organism it does not have um, um, specialized organs for a gaseous exchange but instead gaseous exchange occurs over the surface of the body now for large and multicellular organisms like human beings elephants uh, cow dogs donkeys etc etc they have got uh, La, a small surface area to volume ratio because their bodies are large therefore they for, for gaseous exchange take place they must have specialized structure this specialized structure where gaseous exchange occur are called respiratory organs examples of respiratory organs are the lungs the gills buccal cavity the skin etc etc so in our next session we shall discuss about the various respiratory organs okay now we have said that the type of respiratory organ depends on where the organism lives okay for instance cell membrane is solely for those organisms which are single celled okay these organisms in most cases live in water so this is a respiratory surface a surface where gaseous exchange occurs okay examples of a single celled organism is the amoeba and paramecium a second type of uh, respiratory surface is the tracheal tracheal these organisms lives in air that means that uh, the medium through which gaseous exchange occur is air okay and tracheals are found in insects another type of respiratory surface is the gill filaments the organisms that have got gill filaments usually live in water hence they extract oxygen from water examples are the fish some organisms like um, tadpoles also have got gills they usually live in water then we can also have the buccal cavity this is what we call mouth like in adult frog gaseous exchange occurs through the buccal cavity or the mouth cavity and also the skin these organisms usually are uh, operate in water and air so they can extract oxygen from water and air examples we have the adult frogs okay we can also have another type of respiratory surface which is the lungs the lungs extract uh, oxygen from air examples of organisms that have got lungs include the birds the reptiles and the mammals 
Last but not least, we have the skin. This one is used by frogs when they live in water. So, what have you learned today? What have you learned? Probably, you might have said that you have learned about different types of uh, respiratory surfaces because they are here. Okay. You might, have say, you might say that uh, gaseous exchange is important in animals because they allow animals to extract oxygen, which is important for respiration. So, so goodbye. Let us meet in our next lesson.